Welcome back to Topics on Trends. Imagine a time long before the dinosaurs, a time when life on Earth was just beginning to flourish. This was the Cambrian period, over 500 million years ago. Scientists have unearthed a tiny fossilized lava, frozen in time for over half a billion years. This remarkable find offers us a window into the past, providing invaluable insights into the very beginnings of life on our planet. The fossilized lava is incredibly small, measuring just a few millimeters in length. It belongs to a group of extinct animals called stem group arthropods, the ancestors of modern day insects, spiders and crustaceans. The lava's body is segmented with a distinct head, thorax and abdomen. This body plan is characteristic of arthropods, both living and extinct. The lava's head is particularly well preserved, revealing details of its primitive brain. This ancient brain, though much simpler than that of modern arthropods, provides clues about the evolution of the nervous system in these creatures. The discovery of this tiny lava is a testament to the power of fossilization. Through this process, even the most delicate structures can be preserved for millions of years, allowing us to study the anatomy of long extinct creatures in remarkable detail. What makes this discovery truly exceptional is the extraordinary level of preservation. Finding a fossilized larva is rare in itself, but to find one with its soft tissues intact is almost unheard of. The preservation of the brain and guts is particularly significant. In this case, the larva was likely buried very quickly after death, perhaps in a sudden mudslide, preventing scavengers from scattering its remains and bacteria from decomposing the soft tissues. This level of preservation allows scientists to study the anatomy of these ancient creatures in a way that was previously impossible. The fossilized brain provides clues about the evolution of the nervous system in early arthropods. By comparing this ancient brain to those of modern arthropods, scientists can trace the evolutionary changes that have occurred over millions of years. The fossilized larva is so well preserved that scientists have been able to classify it as a new genus and species. The genus name is derived from the Chinese word for juvenile, referring to the larva's early stage of development. The species name translates to from Yuanjiang, the county in China where the fossil was discovered. The discovery of adds to our understanding of the diversity of life during the Cambrian period represents a previously unknown branch on the arthropod family tree. Its unique combination of features provides valuable insights into the early evolution of this incredibly successful group of animals. The discovery of any new species is an exciting event for scientists, but the discovery of a new species from such a critical period in Earth's history is truly remarkable. Section 5, the Cambrian Explosion. The Cambrian period, spanning from 541 to 485 million years ago, was a pivotal time in the history of life on Earth. This period witnessed an unprecedented explosion of life forms, known as the Cambrian Explosion. During this relatively short period, most major animal phyla appeared in the fossil record, drastically increasing the diversity of life on Earth. Before the Cambrian, life on Earth was primarily microscopic and consisted of single-celled organisms and simple multicellular creatures. However, during the Cambrian, there was a dramatic increase in the size and complexity of organisms. This period saw the emergence of animals with hard shells, skeletons and complex body plans. New body plans and adaptations arose, leading to the incredible diversity of life we see today. Scientists believe that a combination of factors, including changes in ocean chemistry and the evolution of predation, may have contributed to this burst of evolution. The study of fossils like is crucial for understanding the evolution of life on Earth. Fossils are the only direct evidence we have of past life, providing a window into ancient ecosystems and the creatures that inhabited them. By studying fossils we can learn about the anatomy, behavior and evolution of extinct organisms. The discovery of soft tissue preservation in is particularly exciting for paleontologists. By comparing the anatomy of to that of both extinct and living arthropods, scientists can trace the evolutionary changes that have occurred within this group over millions of years. This information helps us to understand how arthropods evolved from their simple ancestors to the incredibly diverse group of animals we see today. The study of and other Cambrian fossils is helping paleontologists to piece together the story of life on Earth.
Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the origins of complex life and the incredible journey that life has taken over the past 500 million years. The fossilization of is a testament to the remarkable processes that can preserve ancient life. Fossilization is a rare event, requiring a specific set of circumstances to occur. When an organism dies, it is usually quickly recycled back into the environment by scavengers, decomposers and the elements. However, in rare instances, an organism's remains can be buried quickly after death, protecting them from the elements and scavengers. In the case of, it is believed that the lava was buried rapidly in fine-grained sediment, perhaps due to a sudden mudslide or underwater avalanche. This rapid burial created an oxygen-poor environment which slowed down the process of decomposition. Over time, layers of sediment accumulated on top of the lava, subjecting it to increasing pressure and temperature. As minerals from the surrounding water percolated through the sediment, they gradually replaced the organic material of the lava's body, a process known as permineralization. The discovery of has sparked a wave of excitement among paleontologists worldwide. This tiny larva with its preserved brain and guts offers a unique opportunity to study the early evolution of arthropods in the Cambrian explosion. Scientists are using a variety of techniques to study in detail. High resolution imaging techniques such as scanning electron microscopy allow researchers to examine the larva's external anatomy in extraordinary detail, revealing tiny structures that would be invisible to the naked eye. To study the larva's internal anatomy, scientists are using non-destructive imaging techniques such as X-ray microtomography. This technique allows researchers to create detailed three-dimensional models of the larva's internal structures, including its brain, gut, and muscles, without damaging the fossil. The discovery of is a testament to the power of paleontology to reveal the hidden wonders of our planet's past. This tiny lava, frozen in time for over 500 million years, offers a captivating glimpse into the Cambrian period, a time when life on Earth was undergoing a remarkable transformation. The study of has provided scientists with a wealth of information about the early evolution of arthropods, the Cambrian explosion, and the processes of fossilization. The legacy of extends far beyond the scientific community. This tiny creature with its big story has captured the imagination of people around the world, reminding us of the vastness of geologic time and the incredible diversity of life that has existed on Earth. Serves as a powerful reminder that our planet's history is written in stone, waiting to be deciphered by those who dare to explore its depths.